Kevin Rand here playing Farming Simulator 19 on Ravenport. And uh, since last episode, well, we're pretty much uh, continuing on doing the same thing here from last episode. Still working on uh, chopping corn yet. Making uh, progress here slowly, but uh, surely. Uh, course play is definitely in no hurry here. Um, also, the field here, the rest of the soybeans are finally ready to harvest. So got uh, two hired workers going on that. Both combines, other combines should be on the other end of the field there. Also still planting oats on this field here as well. Kind of got the truck parked down there, so hopefully that'll uh, catch the planter if he actually makes it that far or not. I'm sure he'll, he's, he's going to catch up with the combines here at some point. So of course, I want to make sure that uh, doesn't happen. Uh, we, of course, finished up harvesting the cotton on 4 and 5 here, so we can get this field replanted. Do we get any more bales off this field? It doesn't look like it. Not that I'm seeing, anyway. Let me get the uh, harvesters out of the way here. We can start replanting this field, hopefully. Also got hay to pick up. Uh, let's see, what else do we got going on? Uh, probably most of it there for the moment, at least. So a little replanting, some harvesting, some uh, hay that needs to be uh, picked up. I'm thinking I'm actually maybe going to try baling that hay. Let's see once here. Uh, maybe bale the hay and sell it. Or maybe uh, at the very least, I should probably at least put one load in the uh, storage there in their silo. And then the rest, maybe I'll, uh, I'll bail that just for, you know, something different here. Okay, let's give you a quick bath here a minute before we put you away. Like I need to do some uh, repairs here as well. And, of course, uh, by the way, still waiting for the cotton price to go back up, by the way. Wow, is the cotton price, yeah, it has not been going. You know, I can, we can check it here this up, so just to see once if it has gone up at all. I'm guessing probably not yet. We'll probably have to wait, like, another uh, in-game day here or so. Yeah, it, it's still way low. Oh, right. Still not changed that yet here. Let's uh, turn that nonsense off. There we go. Like I said, I need to remember... To uh, get into that XML file again and uh, disable all those options. Uh, if you're using the vehicle control add-on mod and or the older version, the keyboard steer mod, uh, there is a global XML file. Uh, it is located under, I think it's mod settings. I believe that's the folder name in your farming simulator folder. Uh, don't quote me on that, folks. I'm pretty sure it was mod settings was the name there. And under that uh, folder, you can find an XML that you can open up, and it's basically just a bunch of true-false values that you can change, and you can disable certain parts of... Oh, hey, there's another bale here. Uh, certain parts of either keyboard steer, or in this case, I'm using the vehicle control add-on, which is the newer version of keyboard steer, by the way. Seems how there's not really much with steering in the mod. Well, there, there is still steering in the mod, I guess, but... There's just a lot more going on with this mod here now. You know, transmission options. And if you watch the multiplayer uh, episodes, kind of played with that a little bit there. Uh, to be honest, I, I don't understand the benefit of it in the game. I mean, whatever, I guess. Unless, of course, you wanted to manually select your gears. That that would be kind of cool, I guess. It's essentially a manual gear mod in that way. So there's, there's a lot going on on the vehicle add-on mod here. Uh, like I said, I don't use much of it myself and don't really find a use for any of it either, really, to be honest. But some of you folks, you may like some of those features. I personally don't, but... Uh, and you're probably wondering, well, why are you even using the mod in the first place then? Uh, it does have one very useful feature I do like, and that is it does lock on the steering. Meaning you, you can do Control w like you could with GPS, and it just locks the steering straight. It's not particularly fancy. It does, it's not really GPS, but it does at least lock your steering in a straight line. So it is kind of useful in that regard. Anyway, just a reminder here too, I kind of mentioned it a moment ago, don't forget to uh, check us out on Twitch there as well. Watch the live streams. Don't forget as well for the uh, PC giveaway. If you haven't entered that already, make sure you do that. Uh, but you do have some additional entry options if you watch the live streams. Again, the live streams there, we're doing some special uh, giveaway codes. Uh, again, those giveaway codes will get you additional entries to the giveaway. And, you know, in theory, the more entries you have, the better the chance you have of winning. 
And just to remind everyone, the uh, the person that won the last PC giveaway was a live stream winner. So I'm not saying it will be this time. and just pretty much random. So oh, wait, did I not? I uh, thought I'd turn that off. I guess not. There we go. Uh, again, by the way, that PC giveaway does end February 28th. So, of course, if you're watching this video after that date, that, uh, oh, hello, uh, the wall. That, that giveaway will, of course, be over. But you can, you can still check out the build video if you want to check that out. And for those of you who uh, never maybe built a, a PC before, wondering how hard it is to do, not really that hard. I, I would say uh, PC building has gotten a lot easier in the last few years. Pretty much, you know, the main thing you want to watch when uh, buying your components is make sure they're all compatible with each other and you uh, purchase a case that is large enough to hold all the components you want it to hold. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got the cotton harvesters off there. Let's uh, get this last cotton bale off the field here. And then we can uh, grab a tractor here and start planting. We've got a lot of money holed up in bales here at the moment. Again, we just need the price to, you know, go up. We've probably uh, killed the market here with cotton the last uh, couple times. We have obviously sold a lot of cotton here. Uh, just coming from this field and then our uh, big field there as well. We've harvested cotton off that a couple times as well. And uh, yeah, that's, that's gained us a lot of cotton and a lot of money too for that matter. That's uh, pretty much what bought us the biogas plant and the new fields and some other new equipment. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. We got a lot of stuff with the money off the cotton here. So, again, cotton, I know a lot of people are like, grown, oh, great, cotton, a lot of work. Uh, it's not really a lot of work when you think about it because cotton, you pretty much take the hired worker, hire him, and as long as he doesn't get stuck, you don't have to do anything with him. Uh, you'll have to go back afterwards like we are now and pick up the bales, but that's relatively simple if you ask me. You know, unlike maybe harvesting wheat or corn or anything like that, you pretty much have to uh, tag team the combine there to keep it unloaded. The harvesters here, they take care of themselves. That's actually kind of nice in that way. Uh, anyway, we'll park this up by the shed there. We'll grab a, a tractor. Like I said, I'll have to find a free tractor. Oh, I do need to level out that bunker again, too, by the way. Um, speaking of what, it seems like he should be... Should be... Uh, he must be stuck there. Yeah, let's let's go check him here a minute. He should be uh, getting stuck in the bunker here any moment, because uh, the bunker needs to be leveled. I did have to uh, push him out here before I started recording. So if he didn't make it through last time, there's no way he's going to make it through this time, because there's a pretty good hunk of chaff right in the middle of that bunker. Okay, we'll just... Oh, you're going to need some fuel, aren't you? Well, seeing as how I got... To, all right, you will not back up, will you? Turn that off. By the time I uh, get around to uh, changing that XML file, I'm going to have all the vehicles set anyway, so I don't know what uh, difference it's going to make at this point, but... Uh, Oh, do I got to be on the front side? Eh, that would make sense, I suppose, right? Fuel triggers in the front here. Diesel. Diesel one. Oh, there's more than one diesel? Okay. What if I want diesel two? Racist, I tell you, only giving me diesel one. Okay, what's your problem over here? Because, uh, like I said, it looks like you're stuck on something. No, you're not, uh... Combine is telling you to stop. Interesting. Okay. I'm on truck. Yoo-hoo. Right over here. Over here, truck. Uh, let's see what's here. Oh, shoot. I can't open uh, course play on the chopper, can I? Bummer. Uh, right, telling you to stop. How about, uh, we do this? Maybe that'll, no, you're still telling you to stop. How about, uh, continue, maybe? Ah, uh, Combine is telling, why is the Combine telling him to stop? 
And is it really the Combine's fault or something else going on here? Let's uh, maybe try this. Drive, uh, no, drive next to the combine, not through the combine. Come on, course play. Let's get with it. Guess he wants to drive on the wrong side. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see one. So let's get this uh, hay wind road here a minute. Looks like I should probably also finish up last little bit that he didn't finish here. And a reminder here, too, by the way, for those of you who like to uh, play some multiplayer farming simulator with us, don't forget to uh, join us on TeamSeek. Also, we've been playing quite a bit of multiplayer, the Hunter Call of the Wild as well. So if you like that game, don't forget to join us on TeamSpeak there as well. Uh, you can only fit eight people on a server there with the Hunter Call of the Wild, so that does fill up relatively quickly. But if you at least like a chance to try joining, uh, again, just uh, join us on TeamSpeak there, the Hunter Call of the Wild farming simulator. Uh, we got a couple people that like to play tanks there as well. Uh, just, you know, a smattering of different uh, games that we do play from time to time. So, again, don't forget to uh, join us on TeamSpeak if you like some uh, multiplayer fun. And uh, as I've said before, if you've never played Farming Simulator multiplayer, you're really missing out in my opinion. Uh, multiplayer uh, Farming Simulator is a lot of fun. And... Uh, with 19 here now, of course, you can kind of own your own farm in multiplayer. So a couple of different ways you can play. Obviously, you can play as one group that helps each other, or you can kind of all play separately as well. It depends how you want to play there. We kind of go uh, both ways there on the multiplayer server, which, uh, if you ask me, makes it a lot of fun. Again, it's a lot more fun playing with uh, intelligent uh people than it is, and by intelligent people, I'm not, not referring to, you know, like, uh, you got some dumb people and some uh, smart people. I'm just uh, intelligent people as compared to uh, hired workers uh, is what I mean by intelligent there. At least, you know, generally speaking, most, uh, most real human, live human beings are smarter than the hired workers in the game, usually. Okay, got that. Oh, right. We're going to need this uh, tractor to pull the tether, aren't we? Let's, uh, yeah, bring this tractor back over here. Also, should uh, check and see if I can unload any more silage into the cell point there. I keep uh, checking that every now and then just to uh, try to empty as, or sell as much as possible, basically. And while you're win rowing, I think I'll uh, go ahead and uh, level that bunker here before, hopefully before the truck fills back up. Because like I said, he's going to get stuck otherwise. And, and you'll see why here in a moment once we get over there. Okay, hire the worker. Should be good to go. By back tab, yes, there we go. Right to the uh, 7R. Uh, John Deere 7310, by the way, our newest uh, tractor purchase. But yeah, this is where the uh, truck got stuck before, as you can tell, he uh, left a pretty good pile right there. Just try to level this out here a little bit so hopefully he can uh, drive through here next time he's uh, coming through. And unfortunately, we're looking at this uh, last episode here. It doesn't look like course play has added in the uh, mode where you can level the bunkers yet. I guess they haven't got that working. That's kind of uh, too bad. Otherwise, uh, course play could pretty much handle this end to end for you if you wanted it to. And I'm sure it probably will at some point here. They just need to get that mode working again. I'm not sure how long that's going to take them before it will, but that'll definitely be uh, beneficial once they have the leveling mode working. And then basically, course play kind of works with itself between the uh, truck that's loading it and the leveling tractor or whatever's doing the leveling. Hulk is slipping. Oh, you know what? He's probably slipping. 
Yeah, slipping right there. Again, I don't know why this is happening. Like I said, wasn't a problem before. Now all of a sudden, it's a problem. Okay, he should be able to make it through there, I would think. Yep, there we go. Oh, and I pointed this out uh, last episode there as well, I believe it was. It's kind of cool how you actually see the green on the tires. I noticed the one tire that's not down is dirty, but the rest of the tires are green from driving through the uh, chaff there. Again, that's the Real Dirt mod. Real Dirt color, Real Dirt textures. I forget the exact name of the mod there. Uh, my apologies. But that's uh, the mod that's doing that. Doesn't you know necessarily really give you any benefits in the game. It just is kind of cool looking. That's not really all that mod is. And uh, by the way, I'm not going to claim to be like some uh, great person at leveling this here, by the way. Uh, leveling chaff here is definitely not on my uh, list of things I enjoy doing here in this game. It, uh, yeah, just not, uh, not an easy thing to do sometimes. Notice how you kind of get that uh, washboard effect there, too start pushing it for long distances so that's why I'm just kind of trying to push it to the side and I'm uh, going to kind of just leave it there hopefully kind of level this out just so the driver there of course I can get through here at least we're all looking pretty good on the compaction state here already 99% Okay, there we go. I guess we'll, we'll call that pretty good for the time being. I'll have to wait for a couple more loads to get in here before we do any more. Okay, how are we looking on the uh, wind rowing here? Making some progress. Okay. Oh, let's see what's here. Do I have another tractor available over here that I'm not really using? Excellent question. I've got a mower. Wow, kind of sort of, well, not really out of tractors, but... Let's uh, stop you here a minute since you uh, caught up. Oh, I might as well shut him off here too. And uh, noticing on the map here, I think we're going to have to double check it, but I suspect the hired worker missed a section over there. Thought I noticed that on the map earlier uh, before the weeds showed up. Yeah, just double check here. If I turn the weeds off... Oh, no, maybe he did uh, get everything. Oh, he did. Okay, good job, hired worker. I thought I had noticed a missing section here. He must have, uh... I don't know, did he actually go back and get that section? Or maybe just my map wasn't updating properly as well. Maybe that's what was going on. Uh, where is the other hired worker at here? He is uh, basically straight across. Uh, okay. And hopefully after we uh, sell maybe another couple loads of soybeans here, we can afford to purchase another tractor. Again, I said I have a tractor I want to purchase. Got it uh, picked out here already. Just need to have the uh, cash to be able to purchase it. Actually, I have two tractors I want to 
pick out. Also might uh, pick up a baler. I don't think I have a baler yet, so I might uh, maybe do a little of that here as well. Okay. Are we uh, stuck over here again? We are. Interesting. Now, since when did this become a problem? Because uh, he wasn't having a problem with this before. Let's see. And let me just guess. You probably want to be on this side. Ah, good guess. I was going to say, watch. You'll want to be on the other side this time around. But nope, he is on this side. I don't know why he is on this side either. Usually, course plays pretty good about being on the uh, proper side. You know, the side that's already been harvested. But... Yes, not 19 here so far. Uh, as I mentioned there, was it last episode, episode before, uh, I did update my version of course play I'm using at the time of this recording. Well, actually, it's been a... Actually, maybe it's not the latest version anymore. Who knows? It depends how often they update it. It's probably still the most recent, but I'm using 6.01.0071 developer. And, of course, I downloaded that off the uh, GitHub Again, if you're going to get course play, I would suggest that's the best place to get it from, is get it straight from the GitHub. Uh, double check. I don't know if I have a link for that in my mod list or not. Uh, if I don't, it's you can just go to the GitHub website, search for course play, and you should be able to find it. And that is, of course, uh, course play for Farming Simulator 19. And as I said, let's maybe at least pick up one load here. So I'm going to need a tractor for that. Uh, 7R. Yeah, why don't we uh, maybe borrow you for uh, a few minutes? Oh, actually, you know what? Ah, my silage is in the wagon at the moment, isn't it? Right, okay. Well, in that case, let's just use the 8R, seeing as how the 8R is attached to the uh, loading wagon here. Oh, not quite. So close. Uh, ditch the snowblower here a minute. And we can just uh, dump this into our silo system, by the way. Uh, we still got a lot of silage in the bunker here yet. Although, if you look, I've, I've been making a pretty good dent on it, I would say. Oh, what are we down to here? Let's double check. Uh, 3 million. 3 million. So we've got 1.2 million out of there already. A uh, good chunk of that, of course, went into our silo. Well, actually, about 50-50 probably between selling it and in our silo. Kind of goes both ways there. Ooh, another load of chaff coming in. Whoa. And, of course, we were looking at this here last episode. Pretty sure the smaller number I have, again, I, following which icon is for hay and grass and straw, uh, pretty sure the smaller number was the hay, so that's why I want to pick up at least a load of it here just to have on hand. Not that I think we really need it, but just to make sure we have enough. Reminds me, too, I probably should double check and see if the cows need to be cleaned or not. Uh, yeah, they could use a little cleaning. They're not terrible, but probably be a little bit better. Have to get some uh, fertilizer on this field here as well. Try not to uh, forget to do that here. But yeah, I'm just kind of curious to see once how much we can uh, make off some nice uh, hay bales here. So I'm probably going to look at purchasing a baler, a square baler. Of course, I don't really plan on doing the round bale route. We'll uh, purchase a square baler. I don't think I have a bale trailer yet, so I'll probably want one of those as well. It'll probably run us about 150000 by the time we're all said and done purchasing that equipment.
Okay, there we go. One, a full load of hay. That, uh, you know what? Maybe I should do one more load yet, just to get two loads, because uh, there was about 50,000 in there. Get it up to about 150. That should definitely last a while. Uh, as I mentioned, I still want to do pigs on here yet. So at some point, again, we're pretty much uh, waiting on money here. That's been our kind of our problem here the last uh, several episodes. Uh, and it's not the fact that we don't have uh, money waiting. It's just uh, we need to get the prices up there a little bit better. Or at least I'd like to have them a little bit better before I sell. If I can, anyway. And normally for most crops, I don't really pay that close attention. But for some reason, the cotton, I'm kind of, you know, like, uh, let's get that price as high as possible here. Yeah, like when it comes to soybeans, I'm pretty much just straight up selling them. Don't really uh, pay attention. I don't know if the price is good or not. Uh, let's see, soybeans, 2557 I think that's actually, yeah, that's actually probably a pretty bad price. But as I said before, this is kind of the one reason I do sell stuff right away. Kind of uh, where we're at right now. We got stuff we can sell. But I'd like a good price. So, you know, if I just did that with everything, we'd probably be looking at this situation uh, a lot more often where, yeah, we got stuff to sell, but uh, we don't also don't have any money because I'm not selling it because we're waiting for a better price. Looks like I need to go through with the uh, winter or clean up these headlands a little bit. Some uh, pretty good pile ups there on the ends. As big as that uh, windrower is, it still takes them a while to do this field, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, a few more uh, comments here a moment uh, before we wrap up the episode here real quick. Uh, Justin was saying on your challenge series, why not get a log trailer with a grapple on it? Uh, wouldn't that be nice to use, or is the grapple harder to manage? Uh, in my opinion, the uh, grapple on the at least the in-game trailer is absolutely horrendously useless. So that is why I'm not looking to get a trailer that has a grapple or a uh, built-in loading mechanism on it. I, I just, yeah, they're they're quite useless if you ask me. Uh, same goes for the in-game log forks, uh, which I, I think I guess I pointed that out here a few episodes back. I do have the uh, stole log forks now, so we'll definitely be making use of those, hopefully. Uh, Niles was saying the uh, side pieces on the header when used while harvesting uh, canola are vertical knives to cut the otherwise matted together crop as opposed to pulling it apart with the end crop dividers. Pulling it apart often leads to elevated header loss. Again, talking about the uh, when you harvest uh, canola, You'll notice uh, the header actually changes to a different style of head on the ends. And uh, what he's saying there is it changes there so it uh, cuts the crop apart, essentially. Uh, 13 Dixie Friday saying, I think I will keep my eyesight. I haven't fully recovered from seeing the ugly tractors on the Michigan 17 multiplayer series. Oh, wow, yes, uh, Dixie Fried. Uh, I'm not going to say thanks for the reminder there, but uh, yeah, that was truly a atrociously awful sight, wasn't it? That was bad. Okay, we'll uh, return the 8R to the silage here. Also, yeah, basically time to wrap it up for the episode already. Wow. Already time to wrap it up. So, yeah, on that note, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them below. Don't forget to check us out on Twitch as well. Again, it's RD Allen on Twitch. And as always, thanks for watching, and until uh, next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.